Yeah, it's a. Oh, yeah, it's hard. It's very hard. Oh, it's very deep. It's me, Miss Foot Fixer. I hope you guys are well. We have this wonderful patient here who has a little bit of psoriasis. Uh, psoriasis is a um, kind of autoimmune skin condition that um, causes the buildup of, of, of kind of skin uh, all over the body uh, and, and it also thickens up the nails. So sometimes you can get lots and lots of thickened skin on the bottom of the foot that doesn't shed off and it can be quite painful. Uh, and, and quite unsightly, but actually today's a good day. So what we're doing is just using this 10 blade here and we're just scraping back the hard skin. And, and to all of you guys, you might think that there's nothing there. Trust me, there is something there and I can feel it. Uh, and it's a, a very young uh, pair of feet that we have here. So we're gonna scrape that all back, make it nice and comfortable and then we'll drill it later on to make it really really e even um the, there's not much treatment for psoriasis mainly it's about managing it uh, moisturizing it loving the skin and uh, letting the skin rehydrate if the psoriasis causes other systemic problems like arthritic changes um, um joint pains and things like that or if it's severe then obviously you can go on drugs. And, but there's many levels of drugs too. Uh, you've got your NANSEDs, which is just like your ibuprofen, the karma and the, the joint pains and stuff like that. Then you've got methotrexates, but you also got kind of immunoglobulin like chain, like injections for the psoriasis. Did they talk about that? Yes, is it called um, biologics? Yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So um, it was explained to me that, so there's steps. Yeah. So you'd have to go through methotrexate first. Before yep, exactly. Biology. That's kind of like the, the the top of the mountain kind of thing. So you tried lots of a kind of well, you you don't have joint pain, right? You don't have no. And no. if I do, I just put it down to just like you know sports and and sort of an active lifestyle. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, but you heard about this virus is cause, causing arthritic changes and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's something I'm definitely now I'm more aware of and like. Yeah. keeping tabs on it yeah fantastic because that's important because if you can manage that really um when you're at a young age it's great for the joints and the, and, and the bones in the future okay so that's done here uh oh yeah it looks like a, a very good corn actually that is beautiful we just love that crystal that shape crystal shape lesion there look at that that's brilliant so I'm just gonna focus that. That's the closest. I love how you enjoy this. I know it's weird. It's like <laughs> weird fetish kind of thing. So what I'm gonna do, just scrape that back. Yeah, it's a, oh yeah, it's hard. It's very hard. Oh, it's very deep. So I'm just taking all the layers off. really really good I might to use a different blade later on so when was the last time you had this treated I mean self-treated um, yeah. probably I'd probably say a month and a half ago mm. six weeks did you go deep like bleeding deep or just superficial no superficial mm. Okay. Why is it called cut foot? Why is it? Because um, that's what they um, uh, uh. they use um, at the barber shop to put into the place that they use to do your beards. Okay. Obviously, I don't have a beard, so I, that's why I know nothing about it. But it just sounds very evil. Cut throat blades. Well, it might be. I don't know if you ever heard of Sweeney Todd. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about exactly. Because I think it. Can't, yeah, I think it actually might come from it because okay. he was the barber. Uh, he was a barber. That sold that, that, human meat, right, to yeah, people he after. Yeah, he used to kill them on the chair. Yeah, oh yeah. You watch too much TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just, I'm just going to go in and just scoop it out. 
shouldn't be too too uncomfortable. I'm gonna do it very gently. That's the head of it. Cut off the first layer, just gonna go in. And you slowly scoop it out. Slowly scoop it out. Don't go quick. Take your time. Just teaching. Go in circular. Hmm. You see that nice clear circular bit inside? Slowly, slowly. Do you take out quite a bit of the tissue in here then? Yeah, I think because of the blade I use, I, I, I think I take a more of a wider area yeah. than where the actual corn is. Okay. Um, I try to focus on that area and try to get as deep as possible just because then I think I feel like it, the deeper I can get the uh, more time I have before that pain returns. Yeah, exactly. There is something quite satisfying when you do get a corner because mm. it's like it's a small type of stone. Yeah, exactly. But it's not as uh, satisfying when you see we do because I really I found the top first layer when you went in. I just take a big chunk, right? Yeah. That thing literally falls. Yeah, pops out. Yeah. yeah. do it just use the drill just to go inside clean it Have it with that so you can see that hole there. It's nice and pink underneath.
the question is, will my treatment last longer than what you usually do? Then maybe it may be not, we'll see. But um, you said that it's important to cream regularly, right? Yeah. yeah. A bit more longevity. Yeah. That's the thing, just to kind of keep it under control. It's not, it's this, you know, this area is not too bad. You're leaning more onto that area. When we talk about orthotics, maybe getting a pair to deflect the pressure from that area, because mm. you might be leaning more on that side. That's why you've got more dead skin build up. Because this is quite thin. I'm not sure if this had to do with that, obviously, cricket as well. Mm. Um, that is obviously my learning point. Ah, oh, okay. I don't play cricket. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I... I, I know a little bit. Of, it's like baseball. I'll probably get yelled at. What do you mean it's like baseball? <laughs> it's like uh, I'm more into American. Swords. Swords, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's transferable skills. But yeah. <laughs> Running, <laughs> wearing uniform, yelling at each other. <laughs> Throwing objects. <laughs> so again, it could have been that like, it was from our like, three main sports. Yeah. And the nails. Yeah. And the feet. Yeah. But then because it's a psoriasis, it's not needed. As fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. But like I said, it's not, I've seen a lot worse through my career. I mean, I like uh, doing it. You know, try to prevention is always better than cure. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I've got to a point where I am looking at prevention, but psoriasis isn't a life threatening yeah. disease, although there's no cure. Yeah, that's the the, the, the the issue with psoriasis. That although the biologics that they're, they're quite quite good actually. So I heard from the dermatologist. So, yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of new. It's fairly new, right? Yeah. Oh, how many? Last five, six, well, how many years? Ten years? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess you don't hear about, I think, from speaking to the dermatologist, um, you know, it's quite an expensive cost on their yeah. test, right? So this is why you have to go through the stages. The stages and methotrexate. Yeah. Which I don't understand because obviously the side effects from speaking to the dermatologist are more severe with methotrexate mm -hmm. than it is with biologic. Yeah. But then you still have to go through that process of potentially taking something which has severe side effects, which, I mean, I, I can't understand it. Yeah. But... I think it's just the process of the National Health Service, mm -hmm. and that's just how it works, and everything like that. Um, and But if you go through the process and it doesn't work, you know your next step, right? They yeah, have exactly. very clear guidelines, the National Health Service, which is which is fantastic actually. Yeah. Of what what if this doesn't work, but that doesn't work. So this work exactly the the point is like, just do it. Do it and then within, you know, a month or two we'll know whether it's working or not. Yeah. And then we can get pushed on to like the next step which will be um, biology. Yeah. So that that is the one actually I'm looking at. Yeah. Of course, because we're obviously methotrex that I've got a really Whilst I'm on it, I've got to really um, be cautious of um, my like, lifestyle at the time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really manage that. The liver and the healing process and everything. Exactly, so. And you're young, right? So you want to still live life. Yeah, exactly, I'm only 30 this year, so. Oh, I feel young, baby. And, I mean, don't feel it anymore. <laughs> um, but obviously. If I'm a methotrexate, that's going to coincide with um, my 30th birthday, so it's going to be quiet. Oh. Right, I'm just going to have to quiet one. Oh. What's your plan for your 30th? I haven't made any plans. I'm actually really rubbish at making plans. <laughs> and is that just for feet and hands? or? Uh, I can be for the, the body too. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. The oil one. So is marigold actually like um, a plant or something? Uh.